Ahmad Bidabadi, you're the chairman of the data processing company in Tehran. Uh, welcome to Geneva. Uh, why is your company represented here today? Okay, thank you very much for giving this opportunity. Uh, I've been here for three years and this year we had a workshop on the e-business. We have been applying for, because we, uh, we came with the product and we went through the visas, uh, you know, uh, evaluation process and we were also awarded to come to here. So they give us a chance to present our e-business solution and this is called Hopco. This is actually what it is and uh, on June, June 9th we have this presentation and workshop and we try to share our experiences and the challenges we have encountered. You know these days ICT is a new many places and you encounter the challenge. So we came here to share our experiences at the same time to share somebody else, other people experiences that we have and that we can use them in order to continue. And it was very useful for us to be here because at the same time of sh sharing our experiences, we are learning from others. That's the reason we are here. Yeah, because the forum, the idea of the forum is that private companies like yourselves can mix with international organizations and civil society groups. Have you had much contact with, with those kind of organizations? Yes, actually we have uh, uh, many contacted uh, with the uh, many governmental organizations from different countries with ITU, uh, for example, with ITC, which is they are doing the same thing in ITU regarding the e-business and they give us their success story and what they can do for us. And uh, it's very useful and we try to share. For example, we talk to Kazakhstan and other countries which are doing similar things and we are learning the experiences. I think it's a very good opportunity for us to contact with international because we need some international expertise in our country. So we are here uh, to learn more and get contact pointed. We have been participating in Mexico just this year, about a few months ago, because the WISIS also has a, another forum in Mexico. So you are, taking part in all of these ITU visas plan in order to understand more and also to get idea and what is the trend of technology is going, we try to keep with it. Well, the government of Iran is also represented at this event. We'll be speaking to them tomorrow. Is that a sign that the Iranian government is putting ICTs uh, in a more central place within its overall priorities? Yes, as you see this year, the government of Iran is participating, almost more than 30 people are coming from the government compared to other years you see more presence. So that means uh, the gov new government giving more attention to the uh, implementation of ICT, to expand ICT, to actually expand the broadband in Iran. Uh, that's true and the government has the policy that the private sector to take part in actually expanding ICT within the, in our country. So, yes, we can see these are a good sign. That's why we are also encouraged. We have putting more power to implement lots of action, action line of visas in our uh, the country based on the action line. Like we work in the C1, C2 action line, C4, C7, which is e-business. We are implementing exactly the action line of visas 10. Well, thank you very much for being with us today and uh, we will be speaking with more members of the Iranian delegation tomorrow.